President Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy are now working to win enough votes of congressional members to pass the bill they negotiated this week to raise the debt ceiling. But this agreement is now facing, facing some pushback. ABC's M. Wen has the latest. With members of Congress and the American people facing the prospect of a catastrophic default one week from today, the race is on for President Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy to secure the votes to pass their brokered agreement to raise the debt ceiling. Well, I feel very good about it. I've spoken to a number of the members. But the president is facing resistance from progressive Democrats who oppose parts of the deal, including new work requirements for some receiving federal food aid. Representative Pramila Jayapal on CNN. This is saying to poor people and people who are in need that we don't trust them. A White House official telling ABC News the administration has called more than 60 House Democrats since this Saturday. I think the president uh, fought hard for a balanced deal and as I am hearing from members, they generally believe this is a good deal. House members returning from their Memorial Day recess are reviewing the 99-page bill that would curb government spending and suspend the debt limit until 2025 after the presidential elections. The agreement also claws back $30 billion in COVID relief, rescinds $20 billion in IRS funding, and ends Biden's freeze on student loan payments in August. McCarthy is also facing pushback from his conservative members, with at least nine House Republicans planning on voting no, arguing the bill doesn't cut enough spending. Representative Chip Roy on Fox News. We should kill this. We should move forward. We should pass a short-term uh, debt ceiling. Senior leadership aides telling ABC News they're going to need moderate lawmakers on both sides of the aisle to push the deal through Congress. Ahead of a vote teed up in the House for Wednesday, the House Rules Committee is meeting today to discuss the bill. Out of the nine Republicans who sit on the committee, two are already no votes, meaning this may need Democratic support to pass the legislation onto the floor. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.